This is the solution to quiz four. As advertised during lecture, I said that I would on occasion put new versions of exercises that were on previous quizzes. This is such an example. Uh, so the question is, find the equation of the tangent line. <clears throat> so a sketch of this So f is a quadratic with a positive leading coefficient. So it's a quadratic that opens up. And then at x is 2, there's a point with a tangent going through it. So we want to find the equation of this tangent line. <clears throat> so fundamentally, we need to find a point, this point, and also the slope. <clears throat> so to find the point, x1 is given as 2 y1 is the function f evaluated at x1, which is to say that y1 is f evaluated at 2. So if we plug in 2, that would be 3 times 4 is 12, minus 5 times 2 is 10, plus 8. So y1 is 10. The slope will be m equal to the derivative evaluated at x1. So in order to evaluate this, we'll need the derivative. So let's compute the derivative. The derivative is 6x minus 5. And therefore, the slope that we're looking for is the derivative evaluated at 2. So the slope is 12 minus 5 is 7. <coughs> so as a result, the equation is y minus y1 is m multiplied by x minus x1. Simplifying a little bit, y minus 10 is 7x minus 14. So y is 7x minus 4. <clears throat> So below we see a function that takes non-negative values. Shade in the area that the integral describes. So because f takes on only non-negative values, that means that the integral is equivalent to area. So there are three grade school shapes. There's this triangle. this semicircle and this rectangle. So shading that in correctly is the answer to part A. And then the answer to part B is that using our grade school formulas, 
we can find the area of each one of these shapes. So as for this triangle, base times height over 2, so that's 3 times 2 over 2, well that's 3. And then here's a semicircle, so that would be pi r squared, well r is 2, and then we need to divide by 2 because it's half of a circle, so that's 2 pi. And then this is uh, base times height, so that would be 3 times 4 <coughs> is 12. So the answer to the exercise is 3 plus 2 pi plus 12, which is to say 15 plus 2 pi. The last exercise on this quiz. So a function is plotted below. Each piece is either a straight line or part of a circle. Okay, so then there's two shapes. <coughs> there's this semicircle. And there is this triangle. Now, the area of the red is half of a circle, so this would be pi multiplied by the radius is 2 squared over 2 because d divide by 2 because it's half a circle so that would be 2 pi and then this triangle well that's base times height so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 times 3 is the height over 2 so that's 9. So that's the areas of these shapes. Now, part A, because we're integrating f from 0 to 10, notice that on this region, f is negative, which means that this area is, when integrated, accumulated as a negative value. So this would be negative 2 pi because we get the negation of this area and then this part is where f is positive so then we will get <clears throat> just this area so then plus 9 so as for the second uh, evaluation now, what the absolute value does in the plot, just to make a rough sketch, is it flips all of the negative parts to become positive parts, so the new plot looks something like this. So that both areas are reckoned as positive, so the answer is 2 pi plus 9.